Welcome back to another episode. There's been a lot of changes happening around here the last few days. Um, the weather is out of control. So much rain, so much wind, you can probably hear it. Um, so what I've done is I've just started to try to waterproof things a bit better and windproof things. Hey buddy, how you going? Hey. This is our cock that we got in our barless project. Creating another round of splits. This one that I do really like is quite a nice bird, this one. You'll probably see him in the last video. Let's have a look at these little babies. They're looking pretty good. They're not um, as big as I'd like. Let's come in here a little bit more because this wind, I tell you what, is out of control. It's one of my birds haven't blown away yet. But these little guys, pretty pretty healthy, not the hugest ones I expected for big babies because the father's a pretty solid bird. They're very dark these ones too which is pretty classic for um, the Leo Storm babies. I'm hoping, well they're going to be blue bars or checkers so it's going to be interesting to see. Pretty friendly little guys too. Hey, Both of them. It's alright, I'm not hurting your babies. Right, let's get in the loft out of this wind. So, these are all the breeding ones we've got going on at the moment. There's our two VDBs. Very good. I'm actually quite happy with these guys. They are uh, very nice to hold too. When I describe them, they are like holding a brick. They are like rock hard. They are next level Leo Hermans, these VDBs. So that's why I'm quite happy that I did pick them up. It's going to be interesting to see how they go. I'm going to have to find two suitable little hens for them, both cocks. Um, they are brothers and from the last video I did say that they were a couple years older. Um, the rings that were put on them were just a little bit different. So that's how I thought they were a little bit older, but they're actually the same age. So. That's good, quite young too, so it'll be interesting to see what these guys do when we cross them into our birds. Listen, we'll see, I'm excited. Because these things, I tell you, they are not like anything that I've had before. They like bricks. And you'll see, I've got another eight of them too. We'll see, at the end of this video, later on, you will see the other eight that I've got. But these are the two pure Vanna blocks that I've got, so I'm gonna see how they go. All the rest of them are just cruising. Leo Storm, got the little white hen there. It's pretty windy, so they're enjoying the breeze. Let's have a look at some babies because there's quite a lot of babies popping out at the moment. Let's go up into Big Titan. I had to swap those nest balls around. I had the other one sitting in here when I was cleaning. So this one is the one nest bowl one, which is big titans with the red hen. This one's looking pretty good. This little baby, single reared. This hen generally only lays one egg for some reason. Well, she lays two, but there's only one that's fertile. But this baby's quite nice. Big chunky thing. You can hear that wind in the background. I'm a little bit worried my lofts might blow away. If all these birds weren't on babies, I'd probably put them all in my shipping container and lock them up for the night. There's not much we can do at the moment, but beautiful little baby. Keen to see how that one turns out. A little blue checker. This hen, I might be considering moving this hen on. Now that we've got a whole bunch of um, birds that I want to test a bit more thoroughly, I brought that ahead. And there might be a blue hib and cockbird as well, this one here. I am considering moving on now. We'll just wait and see. I'm just having a bit of a think, those two that I might, because I've got these two new V2Bs. I want to try them out. They are, I, I generally want to keep with the Leo Hermans. Oh, she's windy. Let's have a look at these ones. These are the Huban cock with the two little babies here, and they are crossed in with one of my storm hens. And they are looking pretty good, these little babies. They're very feisty. They're a bit bigger than the other one in the other nest. Be nice to see how they turn out. Won't be long and I'll be out of the nest. 
Let's have a look at Shock. Shock's been doing pretty well too. He's in here with Little Storm. But their babies are looking really good. Doesn't look like any pides or anything in this round, so it's going to be interesting because um, Shock has thrown a little bit of pied and white fly in that fall. This one possibly could be. You can see there's a little bit of just different coloration in the feet there. Um, so they might be slightly pied. Probably similar to the daughters and the cocks that come out last round, just that little tick behind their eye. But uh, this is one pair I'm very excited to see how they go because this is probably the best hand that I have bred in terms of um, everything else bar racing quality. So, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. We're going to utilize her into some better birds. That's why we're putting her with Big Leo because shock because he is a good, good bird. And then we've got the tired grizzles as well. These guys might be leaving soon. They might not be doing a second round. Um, kind of want to move them on. My friend lost a few of his stock birds. So I think he wants to get a wriggle on and start breeding up his, in his off. So at this point, we may have a tiger grizzle and one white pied. I think this one might be the tiger grizzle and this one might be a white pied. This is a big one. But we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. This one is significantly whiter than that one, so we'll see how we go. And significantly bigger too, that's a big baby. So leave those guys to it. Because we really need to get over and have a look at all the new birds we've got and all the ones that have returned as well. Once this weather does calm down, hopefully, well, I don't know. It's been going pretty crazy this weather to be honest, it hasn't stopped us. This is the, the wildest and wettest year we've had in 26 years now. We've had 18 consecutive days of rain and we've had crazy winds so I'm hoping it stops soon because I really want to get a wriggle on and start sorting these birds out a bit more. I'll tell you what, these new, new cocks here, very excited. Hopefully have a better look at these guys when this weather comes down. I set the tripod up and we can get out and have a bit of a handle of them and get a closer look at them. But at the moment they're super wild as well. So I don't really want to stress them out too much. You can just see, you can just see how wild they are. And in here it's not, I don't want to stress them out too much. Let's go and have a look at the other birds anyway. Alright, brought a little bit of sea with me so we can um, coax a few of them in. You can see that I've uh, done a few little modifications on this loft as well. I want to try and keep this section as dry as possible. This weather out of control, I've been getting water from every single direction and I'm not used to that. So it is good before we do start building a new loft is really sort of figure out where the weather comes from, things like that. So um, same stuff that I've used for the Sputnik we built some time ago on the breeding loft. The breeding loft is also shut up with all this stuff. It's just way too windy to even get out there and um, show you guys. So left a little bit of vent gap, top and bottom, and hopefully this will stop a lot of the rain. Only gonna need to probably do something with this later on, but I still wanna fly some birds as well, but not flying them in this weather because I've got way too many injured birds. Let's bring them in, because I tell you what, there are some really nice birds out here. Mom. Mum. All right, so I got him in. I shut that up because that wind. I tell you, I'm really worried. But the two cockbirds that I've got, the two red ones I just brought, a flyer decided that he's not really going to focus on the more faster birds. So that's how we managed to get um, those two at a really good price. And also what we managed to do was also get eight of those two cockbirds children which are in this loft and they do stand out a bit because they are different colors so we'll go through a few of them they're all actually seven of them are a variation of red the ash red and then there is one up here as well which you'll see which is quite a nice bird these are all young so we're going to try and break them into here 
I might read around or two of them in this loft if I possibly can. They are part of for racing next year. I want to race um, some older birds. So these are older birds that we should be able to break in. They haven't really been out anywhere. Only because um, the guy that bred these ones, he lives over, well, works overseas, and with COVID, things have been a bit crazy and whatnot. So we should be able to break them in once. I, I'd probably say we're going to have to get them down on some eggs first. But they are quite beautiful birds. That's one of them there. It's like a very silver, nearly. Come on. So we'll go into those guys in a second, but. But hopefully we can break them into this loft or the new one and fly them. So stay tuned for that because there's some got some good ideas for all of them. Um, birds, toss birds, come here. So here's one of them that's come back. Um, we tossed this one. Had to go pick him up from the vet. There was a vet that he got dropped into, um, and they gave him an X-ray, things like that. And he's okay. He doesn't have a broken wing or anything like that, so he will fly again. He's just got a cut under this wing, and he can get up onto all these perches, so that's a good sign. Little shock over the back there. She's still out of action for a little bit. We're gonna have to keep an eye on her, see how they go. But surprisingly, we didn't lose too many birds. We probably lost four or five in that long toss. But I'd say the hawks that got them, because I've never ever seen the kind of damage that come through on that toss that was um that really knocked us out of the water and that was part of um me bringing in these eight new birds as well so we've got eight young birds and two older ones so there's 10 new birds in here all from the vanderblock lines we've got two purebred um, and then we've got the eight babies that hopefully we'll be able to race next year if we can break them in so it's going to be interesting because they haven't really been out before in the other loft um, they're all pretty young too so they're probably similar age to some of these young birds i got but we'll just go slow with them. I feel like we can do it, but worst case, we can just use them for breeding as well. But I, th I think we can do it if we take our time. So that toss here, toss really wiped us out. There's a lot of birds in here with injuries. The hawks, I've never seen it like that before. They, uh, There was probably only four birds that come back that didn't have a scratch on them out of the ones that did come back. So yeah, it's actually quite sad. So we've got to really got to keep an eye on the birds this year because yeah and we've got to slow down a bit and be ready for it so it's going to be interesting let's have a look at these birds anyway so these birds just weren't ready for the hawk sound in the open area very feisty these little crosses i got but they have no match for that hen <laughs> So briefly going to this eight that we do have, there is, all eight of these have, they are sons and there's one daughter in actually, I think there's seven cocks and one hen. They are all off those two red ones I've got in the loft over there. So they're either a father, son of that red checker or son of the mealy that's over there. So they are half in the black and then the rest, there's a couple of Cuban crosses. Pretty sure this one here is a VDV cross Cuban. And that's a, that's actually a fantastic pigeon when you hold that one. And then there's a couple more. Most of the other ones are cross of Gabies. And maybe some Leo Herman crosses in there as well, which the VDBs are a newer version of Leo Hermans. Anyway, that was the main reason I wanted to try them. So there's quite a few in here. Let's go through one of them. There's one there, Cockbird. We've got another Cockbird here. These are beautiful, these little red checkers. Another cockbird here. Another cockbird here. It's a white fired pied one that's quite nice. And there's a bit of a checker, mealy, strawberry kind of mix thing there, which that one's quite nice. We've got a very silver mealy up here as well. That's actually a nice pigeon too. That's a very solid one. And then we've got uh, two. I wouldn't say it's, I don't know if it's opal or it's just like a silver spread kind of thing. I'm not really super on the colours, but there is two of them, they're nest mates. There's one here, so it gets a good, good look at it. You can see that it's a very interesting colour. The father was, I think, the mealy in the other lot. 
and the hand might have been a gaby, so I don't know where the colour comes from, it's very unique. But both of them are the same. There's the other one down here. So that is the eight. One of these, I think that might be the hen there. That's the only hen I got out of the bunch. And then we got, oh, I tell you what, that, that's a good looking pigeon. That's probably the best one out of the lot. There's that one and one of the red checkers I think I've got to watch out for. I tell you, that is a sensational pigeon to hold there. I am thinking about um, breeding this one actually. Got a bit of a, I know a few people are like, oh, I should breed it with the white one, like the white hen we got, which, you know, who knows? But I want to break them in, that's the main thing. I really feel like this one could be a hen as well. It's very weird. Could still be pretty young. But that's basically where we're at at the moment. We just really need to wait for this weather to settle down. We do have a lot of birds back. A lot of my little hens come back. We might start tossing some of these again soon, but we'll just um, bring them back a bit. We might bring them back to 15, 20 kilometers and just go easy on them. But I'm gonna wait for this weather to pass because it is, it's too much. Some of those birds that come back in the storm, nice birds, but I think that's a little bit rough on them. Unless he's paired up with that hen there. That's one of Titan's hens. We'll see. We'll let them settle in for a bit. They are in this loft because I would like to break them in and fly them. That's the main main plan. So just stay tuned. I definitely want to test out the VDVs anyway in with my strain, which is kind of like a Gaby Her Leo Herman's cross. So it should be quite a good mix, I think. And also having all these extra numbers is definitely going to help us bolster breeding when we do start because. I might even look at putting a stack of nest boxes in here. So this is just a little update for you guys. Keep this updated because I know I've been putting up a lot of shorts and things like that. Jeez, that's sensational. A lot of shorts and those type of things, just little snippets and teasers. But this is a bit of an introduction to these guys. When this weather settles down, I might do the same thing, get the tripod out and we'll have a closer look at these. Because um, some of these are quite nice. This Neil is really catching my eye. He's pretty keen. I, this could be a hen the way that he's carrying on. Look at him. That's interesting. The way that he's carrying on that could be a hen. We could have got two hens out of that bunch. Interesting. That does change things up a little bit. But stay tuned. We will update and I will get um, a bit better footage of these guys in the near future. We just got to get through this weather weatherproof this place get all these birds back on the mend get as many as we can flying again and probably even just look at starting to do a bit of breeding again soon because um i do want to have a bit of a break because our rings have been delayed a bit so i'm going to wait for our new rings to come as well before we get um, too much mass breeding going and also a bit of traction on the other loft but it's way too wet and we need to start anything which is really really frustrating i'm not happy but at least i'm not in lockdown so we can't win all the time I'm going to catch you all in the next video. Stay tuned. It's going to get exciting. This one, all of them, oh, it's, it's getting good. I feel like the pieces of the puzzle come together. We can really sort of pump out a nice size flock for next year.